Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we're looking at the 5th grade concept of personal financial literacy. Specifically, we'll be looking at how we can make a budget and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So when we're talking about a budget, we're talking about how we regulate the amount of money that we receive and the amount of money that we spend. Money that we receive is called income because it comes into our account, whether it be a checking account or a savings account, maybe money we just have around the house. Money that we spend, that is referred to as expenses. And the key here is trying to find a way to balance the budget. Because when we balance the budget, that means our income is going to be equal to our expenses. Or possibly our income is going to be greater than our expenses. Bad things happen, though, when your income is less than your expenses. So here's an example. Let's say you're going on a trip and you've been saving up all your money. You have $150 from your birthday, $100 from allowance, you did some babysitting, mowing lawns, you even tried a lemonade stand. When you add everything up, you have $360 for this trip. Unfortunately, you're wanting to spend money on a video game. You know you're going to need to buy some meals. You want to get some souvenirs and you want to get the ticket to actually go on the trip. And when you put all of that together, that is going to end up as $415. As you can see, that is a problem because your expenses exceed your income. So you have a few options here. When you only have a certain amount of income, you need to start looking at your expenses and separating them into needs and wants. You see, the ticket and the souvenir and the meals all have to do with the trip. So the video game is something that is completely unnecessary. So if you were to say, well, I'm not going to get that video game, suddenly your $415 turns into $350. Now you have a budget that works because your income is $10 greater than your expenses. But let's say you really had to have that video game and you wanted to keep that in. Well, if you're going on your trip, you have to have the ticket. That's going to get you there. What you don't need are the souvenirs. Souvenirs are extra things you buy to remind you of the trip, but you don't necessarily have to have them. So if you take that $25 off, now you're at $390. And so you're still $30 away, but if you want to get to a balanced budget, one thing you can do is you can look at your meals and you can decide to eat off the dollar menu rather than eating full combo whenever you go out to eat. And you can take $30 off your meals and suddenly if you reduce it to $30, your $390 becomes $360. You take $30 off your meals from $100 down to $70 and now you have what we call a balanced budget because your income matches your expenses. Let's look at another example. Here's an example of someone's monthly budget. Let's say they are renting an apartment and they have a monthly salary of $3,000. That's income. Here are all the bills that they have. And one thing we know is that they have a balanced budget, which means the income exactly equals the expenses. They're spending $1,200 on rent, $800 on grocery, $150 on water, $475 on insurance, both apartment insurance and auto insurance and $110 on internet. The question is how much are they spending on their electric bill? Why don't you take a moment see if you can solve that problem and when you have your answer unpause the video and let's check our work. So to see what our missing item is we need to add up what we currently have. So if we add up all of the expenses we know so far that is going to get us $2,700 $35. And in order for it to be a balanced budget, this 2735 needs to equal 3000 which means the missing piece we can find if we simply subtract the two. So if we subtract here, we're going to have a whole bunch of regrouping. 10 becomes 9. And then we have a basic subtraction problem. So it looks like we have $265. And so if the electric bill is $265, that means our budget is balanced.